very very good morning to you welcome along back out with rb and eclipse motorcycles and another test ride on one of these it's an lxs so we're just going to have a quick look around the bike we have done quite a few of these now obviously we did the first ride in the uk of the lxs let's have a quick look around the bike now the difference being between the lxs and the lxr lxs is a lot shorter in length and seat than you would find on an LXR. It's also lower in the seat at 790 millimetres and it's got those rear exhausts under the seat compared to the LXR that's got them at the sides. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this one out. This one is being ridden for a female rider that has purchased this one and her partner has purchased an LXR. So they both came down to the showroom. I'm going to fire this up. Oh. Give it some welly, there we go. Now this has got literally one mile on the clock. And you've got to let these things warm up before they get out. Water cooled engine on this one. Now as I say, the pair of them came down to the showroom as we would always say with any bike, come down, try a bike for size before you decide that you want it. Now he wanted an LXS, she wanted the LXR. They both sat on the bikes and Luke, her partner, obviously being a bit of a long-legged rider like me, went, oh blimey, you are sort of tucked up into the bike. I said, yeah, it is a lower seat and obviously it does tuck your legs. My legs are literally right up to the top of the tank on this. Now, I have a 32 inside leg, so measure your inside leg. If you're a 32, then it's, it's rideable not a problem but you do find yourself slightly cramped I like to get myself sort of spaced out on the bike but uh, he sat on the LXR still flat-footed it and said you know what I feel the LXR is a better bike for me she sat on the LXR and couldn't touch the floor she was on tippy toes as we say and she sat on the LXS she went this is great I can flat foot the LXS that's going to be the mic for you so if you can flat foot a bike rather than be on tiptoes then you're more suited to the riding position and obviously she sat on this loved it but that's the difference the LXR has an 820 millimeter seat height compared to the 790 of the LXS and it makes a hell of a lot of difference so inch and a bit or so does make a hell of a lot of difference to your riding position and obviously both bikes tuck you into the tank both got absolutely perfect mirrors and it was lovely and uh, bright when I uh, brought the bike out of the garage down to our shooting spot to do the video and great the weather's closed in on me and it's starting to drizzle so the best thing is a dry road is about to turn into a very wet road what are the tyres going to be like in a while so we shall find out on that one we're going to ride until it starts raining and obviously I'm going to get wet as always but if you happen to be an all-round biker, wet weather doesn't bother me. Absolutely not one iota. I'm used to riding in all weathers, and most of us ride every day. And of course you get the people that are the, oh, it's, it's too wet to ride, I'm going to take the car. So each to their own, but I never have a problem with any of the tyres on bikes. And obviously the tyres on these aren't bad. The tyres on the LXR aren't bad. In wet weather, you're going to be adjusting your riding conditions. As I say on every video that I do, adjust your riding style to the conditions that you are riding in. It's absolutely hammering it down. You're not going to be pegging around at 70 mile an hour unless you're some kind of buffoon that uh, has got a death wish. But these uh, LXSs, full LED display there with a the blue uh, backlight to it. Nice big miles per hour indicator, gear indicators off to the right, fuel tanks down the bottom right, revs across the top, and your mileage is down at the bottom left, along with the time. And it's not 21.42, it's about quarter past seven in the morning. I tend to ride very, very early because the roads are nice and quiet and you're not gonna have any issues with uh, other vehicles on the road. Hence why I tend to ride the dual carriageway to crank up the mileage and then do a bit of urban after. So if you know my ride test routes, this is ride test number one. And then obviously two, 
is dual carriageway urban three is the country roads that i do all around the town so all the boys know that i'm on ride test one which is up and down the dual carriageway and then into town so 2.9 miles on the bike and what does it ride like it rides absolutely perfect a great little bike and obviously these are exactly the same price as the lxr so as we'd always say have a look at both sit on both see which one feels more comfortable because a picture or watching someone on a video you can sell a thousand bikes just off a few really good photoshop photos but i'd always say sit on a bike and try it for size to make sure that feels comfortable for you and i know i've been there done it i've always had my heart set on an africa twin i've always loved the africa twins and uh, obviously went and had a look at one sat on it couldn't hold the damn thing up because uh, obviously being a 32 inside leg the africa twin is a very very high bike it's designed for people that are like six foot or absolute giants and obviously i've settled for the gtr bigger heavier bigger heavier bike but the seat on that is so low and i've got an aftermarket seat on mine that's designed to bring the bike low and i can flat foot my gtr so always try a bike for size but if you're into the 125 market quick shoulder check both sides and we're coming off here and the roads are getting slightly damp now which is great for trying out these tyres but if you are into a 125 there are loads and loads of options obviously the uh, the big brand bikes are up in price everything has gone up in price and obviously that's just due to getting containers out of China and Japan or wherever bikes are coming from even India and it's just container costs and coming in on the front brake here we go full front brake and oh that pulls down really really well now I've pulled up in fifth gear clutch in on that one and just step down through the box absolutely perfect lovely and smooth on that gearbox which is what you should be expecting you shouldn't get any clunking between the gears now obviously the engines on these do loosen up any bike the engine gets looser the more you ride it but as we always say run the engine in nice steady 40 to 45 for your first set of mileage until you have a service now obviously the service regime has changed on all bikes it used to be 311 first service 932 second service and then obviously you work it up it's 3000k which is 2485 and then every 3000k but they have changed the service schedules on these so it's now 500 miles and then i believe 3000 miles so there's a lot longer between first and second services also if you buy a bike you have it for about a year or so you go to sell it the warranty carries to the second owner so the warranty is now transferable now before the warranty lasted with the first owner only but the warranty is now transferable all that can be found in your technical spec when you buy a bike all your service schedules and regimes are all in there and just watch this jaguar over my shoulder get him out of the way and then fold back onto the dual carriageway so little burst of 45 we're going to do now and then we're going to drop back down to 40 which is what we tend to do vary the rev response vary the range vary the speed so you're not just sitting at one constant rev range one constant speed i always say get yourself through the box as quick as you can keep your revs as low as possible all the way through the top of the box and then get the power on which is the best thing to do running the bike in you don't want to be revving it too high and obviously if you are servicing make sure you go to a decent dealer and uh, obviously not oh my mate knows how to service bikes yeah decent oil normally 10w40 semi get a good brand don't just buy the cheap rubbish that you'll find in these uh, bike stores that advertise online or down to your local shop that sells bicycles get some decent oil in your bike 
obviously the more money you pay for oil, the better the quality. And I tend to run uh, motor in mine, all my bikes run motor and I normally run either 5,000 or 7,000 which is about 35 quid a litre. Now you've got one bike, you've spent a lot of money on it, a litre of oil is not going to be that much, you can get sort of oil for about 15, 20 quid but I tend to run the, the really high expensive stuff in mine and obviously my big GTR takes 3.7 litres. If you work that out at 35 quid a litre, that's 100 quid before you've even started. And then uh, spark plugs. Another thing for spark plugs, some bikes run iridium, some run platinum, some run standard spark plugs. Always match your spark plugs up. There is obviously uh, iridium equivalents, but check that uh, your bike is alright to run with an iridium, which just means iridium plugs a little bit longer lasting, platinum plugs a little bit longer lasting compared to your standard plugs. I always say, you know, if you're going to have a service, don't don't skimp out and go cheap on a service. Unless, of course, you, you bought second hand and you just don't want to be spending lots of money on a bike. But then maintenance, you should be maintaining your bike at least once a week. ACF 50 on it. Keep it nice and tidy. Keep it washed. Keep the road dirt off of it. And there's nothing worse than, uh, obviously, a bit of road dirt or a bit of road salt rotting your bolts and swing arm and everything. So... Even if you have to go down the local car wash, a couple of quid, get the jet wash on it, get, give it a good soapy wash. I tend to use the valetters in Milton Keynes. And uh, obviously we've got uh, a new vehicle valetter that has obviously uh, popped into the garage. He does our cars, but he also does motorcycles. And I'm going to give him a quick plug. So if you happen to be in the Buckinghamshire area, or Milton Keynes area, JM Auto Clean. And... He does all that diamond coating as well, very, very good, and he's not that expensive, quite cheap actually. So, uh, I'd recommend JM Auto Clean, you can find him on Facebook, find him on Google, he's in Milton Keynes, JM Auto Clean. And uh, give him a shout, I would recommend him, he does our cars very, very well, and uh, I've got the GTR booked in to... Uh, have its bits done in a couple of weeks once we've had the paint job done on it now we are having a run to super sausage and obviously if this video goes up saturday night it's going to be tomorrow morning but we're out running this sunday to super sausage and i am going to have a run out with simon maxwell simon gtr 1400 and he's taking his wife on the back as pillion and he's taking his two lads, and one of them's got a CBF125, the other one's got a little scooter. So we're going to have a nice steady jaunt down the A5, have a bit of fun, sit about 40, 45 mile an hour on the big GTR. Simon's going to take the front, I'm going to take the rear tail end, Charlie, like I normally do. But we're going to have a run down to Super Sausage, and we're going to meet up with uh, Ali and Hayden. Now Ali's got an ISK, uh, Hayden's got an XJ6, so a couple of our friends are going to meet us down there. And no doubt, catch up with a load of other bikers, see if we can catch up with the boys like Uncle Red and Rhythmic. So a couple of motor vloggers for you to follow there. Uncle Red, he's got the Kawasaki Vulcan, known as Jelly Bean. And of course Rhythmic Biker, that's Grant, he's got that nice blue bike with the big loud exhaust on it and he's just had the thing remapped as well so hoping to meet up with him shortly. Now his partner has also purchased an LXS from us. So LXSs are flying out the door at the moment, as are the LXRs. If you're into a used or a new bike, I'm going to drop the link up as well. Down the bottom right hand side, I'm going to do this one early, I might mention it again at the end of the video, but uh, Eclipse Motorcycles MK.co.uk, telephone numbers down the bottom 01908 643 603. Drop my name when you call up, say I have seen RB's video, or I've seen Red Bomb's video, have you got this bike in stock because then they will know where the calls come from. We're getting a lot of calls off of Auto Trader, we're getting a lot of calls off the website, but a lot of calls are coming in via my video, so just say I've seen RB's video, have you got this in stock? Now if you happen to drop my name when you purchase a bike, and you can use the code, and I'm using that for my patches company as well. So, Rev Bomb 10. 
so if you fancy patches and obviously little sewn on patches you can put your name on them any custom designs they do all of that for you go on their website patchesuk.co.uk buy your patches or get your custom design stuff they do loads of mugs t-shirts and loads and loads of bits and pieces not just patches but at the checkout drop the code REVBOMB10 that will get you 10% off of your patches and if you happen to be uh, obviously looking at a video and you're looking at buying a new bike like one of the LXRs, LXSs, Michigans, Cypher drop the code, say to them uh, I want to buy a bike and if you buy any equipment so that is jacket, boots, gloves, helmets locks, chains, disc locks anything like that so any merch to go with the bike give them the code REVBOMB10 and that will get you 10% off your merchandise so helmets, jackets, boots, gloves etc etc REVBOMB10 if your order sort of 300 quid you'll get 30 quid knocked off so saving yourself a bit of money there but just mention the code REVBOMB10 if you buy any merchandise but that you have to buy a bike as well but obviously the merch you get 10% off any merchandise which is what one of our customers did uh, about a week ago he's not purchased the bike yet because we haven't got one in stock but he's put his pre-order in he's paid his deposit but uh, oh my mate's got a bike that I can uh, do a bit of training on I've got it insured but uh, I need some bike gear and he purchased obviously jacket boots trousers gloves helmet and he bought a chain for his bike and he got himself 10% of the checkout happy happy bunny he was so rip on 10 We'll get you a bit of discount off some merchandise. Happy days there. We've got uh, coming up for the 10 miles on the clock. And it's drizzling. I'm getting wet. But I am my bothered. Absolutely not. Tyres holding effectively. And I'm sitting a nice steady 45. Just running this engine in. So 10 miles on for the first ride test, we're going to get back to the garage, I'm going to have a cup of coffee and a cigarette like I normally do every morning. Disgusting habit. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it the thumbs up. Rev matching down, absolutely lovely, and she ticks over a dream. Now I've got, obviously got one more thing that I want to do before we head back to the garage, or on the way back to the garage. And that is to check the alignment of the bike. And it is a very, very easy thing to do. Most bikes you should be able to steer using your backside or your hips to roll the bike around. You shouldn't be using the steering a lot, but you'll get a lot more angle if you use your hips to steer the bike, which is what we tend to do on the big bikes. And I will demonstrate that in a second, but if you enjoyed the video, give it the thumbs up. As always, Get your comments down the bottom. Let us know what you think of the LXSs and the LXRs. Have you purchased a Lex Moto? What do you think of the product compared to what uh, Lex Moto were about three, four years ago? Obviously, the brand quality is really improved now, and Lex Moto are playing with the big boys. If you want to see the next video come up, then hit the notifications bell. Keep an eye on that notifications bell, it will tell you when the next video is rolling up. And if you had, didn't see the live stream last night, we had a very, very good live stream. At Howie 702 in, we had Mr. Burning Gas hauling ass, in the side chat was his wife, Mrs. Burning Gas hauling ass. Carl Dutz popped in. And also we had Simon GTR 1400 pop in, so there was quite a few. And then obviously everybody in the side chat, Ali and Hayden. Uh, green bike, uh, loads and loads of people were in there, too many to mention, I can't remember all the names that were in there, but there was loads of guys all in there, all doing their own thing, all chatting away on the side chat. But that was a very, very good night last night on the live stream, thank you very much guys. Final thing I want to do, while I've got uh, only one car behind me, is just lift the hands off the bars and see if the bike steers straight, and it does. Rides absolutely dead straight line, so wouldn't suggest everybody try it, but you haven't got to take your hands right off the bars. All it is, get it in a straight line, little lift. Just lift your hands away, see if the bike pulls left or right. That will check your alignment of your bike. 
and I tend to do that on every video just to check that the bike is pulling in a straight line no issues there both the levers are absolutely spot on and I'll drop that link up again one more time Eclipse Motorcycles MK.co.uk telephone number is 01908 643 603 that's if you're into a used or a new bike give the bike team a call option two you'll normally find me on the end of that line or you will find uh, Phil or one of our girls Diane or Rebecca but until the next time guys when we're out on a ride test which is in about five minutes I'm going to be taking a little Vespa out that's coming for some service work so we do a little uh, video on that till the next time though be well ride safe and it's a big goodbye from me